let us talk about the clinical features how these patients present the first point to note is majority of the patients when they present with the jaundice jaundice is the most common presenting feature when they present with jaundice they would be having history of alcohol consumption especially binging for few days or few weeks prior to the presentation right. so increased alcohol consumption or binging what we call as binge consumption that history would be there okay then apart from that there may be history of long standing or chronic alcoholism this is particularly important because most of the patients who develop alcoholic hepatitis are not those who have initiated alcohol consumption recently or this current binging is not their first spell of alcohol consumption majority of them have alcohol consumption history of more than 100 grams per day for 10 to 20 years or more than that that is simply because uh, the alcohol induced liver injuries because certain enzymes involved in alcohol metabolism are exhausted and then the, the end products cause liver injury right so if you are having alcohol consumption for many years then your liver reserve is significantly declined and that is how you become more vulnerable when you suddenly start increasing the alcohol consumption quantity okay so that is one point to note now the presenting complaint in most patients is usually jaundice right they may also have abdominal pain at the time of presentation and this abdominal pain is mostly in the right upper quadrant and they may have fever also so in, in all practical purposes this resembles like a acute hepatitis right acute viral hepatitis so acute viral hepatitis will always remain as an important differential diagnosis for alcoholic hepatitis now when it comes to fever keep in mind you will attribute fever to alcoholic hepatitis only when you have ruled out other possible causes because chronic alcoholics are nutritionally challenged they are immunocompromised and they are vulnerable for various infections. So, fever will be considered to be secondary to alcoholic hepatitis in a case of alcoholic hepatitis when you have ruled out other possible causes. Uh, the infections and all are ruled out, then you will attribute it to alcoholic hepatitis. Okay. So, that is about clinical presentation.